Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Mario Party 1. This time we're going to go to Minigame Island via this left. So yeah, let's go. And there is a continue here. I didn't start recording until now, but that continue is basically from the last time that I did Minigame Island, which was a couple years ago, which is on the channel with composite recorded quality, so composite to HDMI conversion, and no commentary, so I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to see that. I did use Luigi in that, and the partner, I think, was Wario, I'm not sure, but we're gonna st start a new game here, so yeah, let's go. Minigame Island, here we go. Now, my neck is bothering me today a little bit, so... For those stick spinning and button mashing minigames, I'm gonna try and not get so tense. Here we go. Hey, there's a raft out there in the ocean. Is that... Mario! It's Mario! Mario is riding on the raft and coming this way. Well, obviously. Hey, there's someone else on the raft besides Mario. It looks like... Well, I haven't done this combination yet, Mario and Peach, so yeah, let's go. Yeah, such Peach, it looks like Princess Peach is behind the Mario. Here we go. Welcome to Minigame Island. Shall I explain this island to you? Sure, why not? The object of the island is to reach the goal, goal, goal. There are nine worlds, and you must clear each of the minigames found in those worlds. A minigame starts by moving to a minigame space, or a blue space. After clearing a minigame, you can move to the next space. However, if you miss, you lose one life. Oh my god. If you miss when you have zero lives left, it will be game over. Your remaining life is shown in the upper left corner of the screen. Why? Three lives, so technically four, because zero apparently counts. When you clear a minigame, you will gain a life, but if you miss, you lose. Yeah. Your number of coins is shown in the upper right corner of the screen, and when you collect 100 coins, you get another life. On the Koopa Trooper space, you can save your game up to that point. After game over, you must start again from the point where you last saved the game. Bully to you. Be careful to save your game frequently. That's a little weird to say, but alright. I will be saving on every one of them, so... Well then, let's start. Keep your eyes on your goal and good luck. Well, it'd be kind of hard to win the minigames if I only have my eyes on the goal, so... Here we go, World 1-1, one, one, Coin Block Blitz. Enter here, alright, let's go. Now, unfortunately, I can't turn off the minigame explanation screen, but the description is a little bit different. In these descriptions, at least in the game rules, the controls and the advice is the same no matter what, but the game rules is a little different because there are conditions that you have to do to complete and pass the game. So, in this one, get 10 or more coins to clear the game. Well... I will gladly do so. Okay, I'm gonna get a total of 12 coins. Get ready for that. The computer players, I think, are on normal. Wow, that was a pretty good one. Oh, wow, you got the last one. Wow. I think I got 21 there. Clear. Another life, and then... 34! Oh, that was way more than I thought it was gonna get. Oh my god. Okay, so here's the next coin minigame, Coin Block Bass. So basically, these three minigames here, technically four, because it's also a coin minigame, kind of, are the three coin minigames where you collect a lot of coins, so you can get more lives right at the beginning, so I guess that's why they put it there. But the computer players are on 
basically between normal and hard difficulty so it's a little easier to beat them and they'll be a little more stupid like you saw in the coin block glitch because apparently those guys were moving a little bit all over the place so same thing here trying to want more coins to win the game so all right two coin bags money bags and we're good there's one right there what Hey! Hey! Oh my god. Yes, 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 mine. Okay, I'm losing this minute again. Unless I get the next two coin back. Okay, I got that one. And that one. Okay. That was close. <laughs> I can't believe I almost screwed that up. Wow. Luigi somehow got those two money bags from me because they went the opposite way that I wanted them to go, so yeah. But thankfully I got past that, so. So far, the streak is active. And by that, I mean, let's see how far we can go without losing once. Okay, corn sour flower get 20 or more coins to clear the game. So this is one of the easiest ones to do because, well, the coins just fall from the sky. That's it. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna get 35, no, 37 coins. I don't know if it's possible to get every single coin that's on, that comes down onto the flower. Has anyone ever done that? And if you have, upload a video to YouTube so we can see it in action. And no tool assisted is not going to work. That's cheating. Finish. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Clear. Did I get 37 or did I get more? 40, all right. Not too sappy. And here we go, our first of, how many minigames are there that has this? One, there's Tug of War, and I think there's one more that has stick spinning. But here we have Paddle Battle. Why, because, well, why does this game exist? I don't know. Use the, bleh, to paddle the boat down the raging river. Get 15 or more coins to clear the game. So, oh boy. All right. Thankfully, they're not as hard. So, since they're a little less than hard difficulty, we'll have a, a little easier time. Stupid. Will you stop taking my coins? Come on, hit them. Do your duty. Alright. Stop parking the game. Alright, that's good right there. I can already feel my thumb getting a little... Oh, wow. Okay. Ow, ow. Okay, that's not good. It is a little warm in, it is a little warm in here, so the skin is basically being dry when doing this. And stick spinning on plastic, not great at all. But thankfully we passed it on the first go, so. Let's save. And the recording is going pretty well. All right, good. And let's continue. By clearing minigames or collecting 100 coins, you get one more life. When you are low on life, play minigames you are good at and collect more coins. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, you can go back and play more if you want to increase the life count if you have difficulty doing this. 
All right, here we go. We have the memory match. Apparently, a minigame from Minigame Island. And I think minigame coaster as well. Although I can't remember right now. These minigames have the at the beginning of the name. I don't know why. Okay, match all the pixels in the time limit to clear, clear, clear the game. Yeah. All right, so you have to basically win this in order to pass. All right, how about here? Mushroom, I'm gonna guess right here. Shell, why? Flower. Flower. Green. Red. Shell. Shell. Mushroom. Mushroom. All right. Green and green. Wow. The second time I've done that minigame without getting Bowser 1. That's awesome. Clear. Woo -woo. Okay. Next one up, we have Ground Pound. Or, as the game would call it, The Ground Pound. <laughs> Why? That makes the no sense. All right, you have to clear the game by winning it. Just like we usually do. Ladybug, get off my window. Yeah, Ladybug's all right right now. Star. And it's the 24th. So, I don't get it. Ladybug's are out more during the fall season, I know that, but... Why do they have to be here? You are a different kind of bug. You suck. Okay. Next minute game up, we have a pretty interesting one. One that I didn't even get to do during the whole board playthrough. And that's the Limbo Dance. Hmm. Oh. When you reach the goal, you clear the game. All right, Limbo your way under the bars and down the path. Lean back and move forward with A. Don't press A if it looks like you might fall down. Slowly let yourself stand up. So, there we go. I read the rules because it's my first time playing the game in this playthrough. So here we go. Mario is the king of limbo dance. And Mario will stumble if he's about to fall. Wow, I got the easy course. What? Well, okay. Finish. I'll take it. Clear. 11 lives, 12. Technically, because 0 counts as 1 for some reason. I don't know why. It's always been that way for the old games, including adventure games. So, like in Rayman 1, for instance, when the life counter gets to 0, you still technically have one life, and then when you die there, then you go to the game over screen or whatever. Continue screen. So, Musical Mushroom. Clear the game by getting the treasure chest. If Mario can actually jump, unlike Princess Peach last time that didn't get up to the mushroom somehow, I don't... Wow. So, I think in this playthrough, I lost this minigame more times than I ever played this minigame. Cause I usually win. It's ridiculous. Oh wow, that was, that was easy. They give you that one. Because they, they don't move until you're like halfway there. So, <laughs> they kind of give you that one. And here we have Piranha. Trying to bite Mario's ass in the Piranha's Pursuit. Alright, a little button mousing minigame here, but not too savvy. What? I don't know. Clear the game by reaching the goal. Yes, sir. Why am I calling you sir? You're not a sir. You're a ma'am. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Star. 
the first number of mini games that we see going through the beginning number of worlds are pretty easy to get through. Why did you jump there? I did not tell you to jump. Oh, oh, uh, who, who, what? I don't know. It's usually easy to stay ahead of the piranha plant, but if you hit one of these things, the trees that fall over or the rocks, then you're gonna have a hard time trying to get away. Cool, 15 coins. And right here we have another Koopa Troopa space, so I'll do one more world and then we'll end the video. I'll do this in three parts. So since there's nine worlds, I'm gonna do these in three parts. Why not? By following the C course, you can go straight to world six. Yes, you have a little shortcut if you wanna bypass worlds three and four. Three and four, okay. I'll show you what I mean when we get past this, but there, since there are many difficult games, be careful when jumping ahead. Yeah. So, right here we have World 5, and down here is World 3, so you can go this way, go to World 5, and then you'll be at the point where World 4 would end, and then you can just go forward from there, but because we are gonna do everything, I have to go to World 3. So yeah, let's get started with the Crazy Cutter. Alright. Did you really just get inside? I did not tell you to get inside my window, you stupid. I have it closed. Why the hell are you in here? Alright, you know what? I'm gonna squish you like a bug. Literally. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna use this because... Well, can you guess whether I got them or missed? If you guess missed, I, you are correct. Wow, I can't believe I missed that. <laughs> well, technically, he was on the window ledge, the window sill, and I used a Kleenex box to try and get him, but Apparently, it hit the window and not the window sill, so evidently he got away. What a bastard. Okay, get 80 or more points to clear the game. Well, basically how you play the game normally here. And apparently we're doing Boo as well. Is Boo the only character in this one? I, I thought there were more characters than just Boo. Boo is like the most common one we get for some reason. I don't get it. But, oh well. Wow, I screwed that up. And I got the second most points for some reason. This was my worst one yet in this playthrough, and I still got more points. Yeah, man. Okay, we who is the buried treasure? Okay, it's been a little while since we played this one. I think we only played this like maybe once or twice. It's one of the least played minigames in this playthrough so far. You, uh, clear the game by getting the chest. So, oh, uh, we gotta find it before they do. So I might lose this one. Hopefully not. Okay, come on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Give it to me. Give it to me now. There it is. Finish. Damn, I knew I was going the whole time. <laughs> the arrows definitely help. Alright. Next one up, we have knock block. Nope. 
not not blocked out. That's way later on in Minigame Island. Right here we have the Desert Dash. Why? We're dashing through the desert. Clear the game by winning the race. Makes sense. Okay, come on, Peach. Why are you in front of me? What did I do to deserve this? Apparently, we get to see her booty a bit more. What? Hey! <laughs> For some reason, it, they weren't moving when I was trying to get past the womp there. Thwomp. and I got flattened. But if they were on normal hard difficulty, they would have probably beat me, so. Yeah, how about that? Okay, the tug of war. Ah. Okay, what can I use? This, mm. I probably should have gotten my, I probably should have got my batting glove, because I was probably gonna use that for the stick spinner. Oh wow, I can I can even see that a blister is starting to form on this one. Okay, I, I guess I'm gonna use my suit to help protect my finger winger, although it's not really gonna help that much. Okay, pull the other team off the cliff. Okay. Alright. Okay, here we go. Come on, we got this. There we go. Okay, that helped a little bit, even though it didn't feel like the stick was spinning all the way around properly, but it worked. And it definitely helps that they're a little easier to beat this time around. If they were on normal hard difficulty, I probably would have lost that. Okay, we got two lives because we got 100 coins. Nice. The Tutoring Towers. Ooh. Ooh. How dare you. Mm -hmm. Okay, clear the game by reaching the goal. I haven't played this myself yet, I don't think. Jump across the tops of the teetering towers. Move and jump. Once the teeter, the what? Once the tower teeters over, jump with all you've got. Then you can make it to the next tower. I can't remember if I played this at least once in this playthrough. I probably haven't, but we've seen the computer players definitely do it multiple times. Peach, Wario, and DK for the most part. Woo! Uh, this is the case where we can't get... Wow, I almost lost that. This is the case where we can't get all the coins. Oh! 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 Jump! Use those chubby legs! What? Finish. I don't know. But we got it. Clear. 19 plus 16? 19. So 19, 19. Cool. <coughs> I did not do such a thing. You did not heal clap. <laughs> there's like, there's like no way I planned 1919. <laughs> Alright, so this has been it for the part one of three for Minigame Island, World's 1 to 3. Let me know down below what is your favorite minigame up to this point that we played. What is your least favorite, although probably it's gonna be Paddle Battle or Tug of War, give or take. And yeah, I'll see you next time for when we go to World 4, 5, and 6 later. Yes, I want to say, what are you talking about?